Learners, today we'll look at the topic of acid bases and indicators. The subtopic is acids. Now we look for the, by defining the term acid. Acid can be defined in three ways. It can be say an acid is a substance or sour test. We can also say an acid is a substance that reacts with metals to form salt and hydrogen gas. It can also be defined as a substance in water produces hydrogen ions as the only positive ions. Now next we look at the categories of acids. We have two main categories of acids. We have what we call organic acids and inorganic acids. Organic acids are those which are found naturally in plants and animals. For example, we say citric acid is found in lemon. Another example you can say is lactic acid, which is found in sour milk. Then we look at inorganic acids. Inorganic acids are those acids which are manufactured in industries for commercial use. The example is hydrochloric acid, salicylic six acid, and nitric five acid. Now the physical properties of acids include they have a sour test, they change blue lismus paper red, and then the last one is they have pH less than seven. Now the chemical properties of acids include they react with metals to form salt and hydrogen gas only. The word equation metal plus acid gives you salt plus hydrogen gas. Now, in this equation here, the name of the salt is always derived from the name of the metal followed by acid radical. Now, acid radical depends on the acids you are using. Now, if the acid used is hydrochloric acid, is hydrochloric acid, the acid radical you get there is chloride. Is chloride. If the acid is nitric 5 acid, the, the, the radical becomes nitrate. If the acid is sulfuric 6 acid, the radical becomes sulfate. So, for example, we say, I can say magnesium plus hydrochloric acid hydrochloric acid the name of the salt I look at this magnesium here and the acid here the acid this name of the acid here changes to chloride so the salt becomes magnesium chloride magnesium chloride and then plus hydrogen gas so that is the word equation now if I'm giving using another example for example I say magnesium plus nitric five acids the salt will be a magnesium nitrate if I'm changing the acid again I say magnesium plus sulfuric six acid I'll get here magnesium sulfate plus hydrogen gas. Now, the observation made in this reaction is because of the production of hydrogen gas, when the acid is added to this magnesium here, effervescence occurs. Reason is due to production of hydrogen gas. Now, mag there are things you're supposed to note in this reaction of acids with metals. Metals like sodium and potassium should not be reacted with dilute acids because they react explosively. Now, another method is copper. You say copper does not react with dilute acids because copper is below hydrogen in the reactivity series and cannot displace hydrogen ions in the acid. Other reactions, for example, I say the reaction between lead and hydrochloric acid stops after some time. The reason you give there is due to formation of insoluble lead chloride, which caught the surface of lead, preventing further reaction. 
Now, in other reactions like calcium and sulfuric six acids, the reaction also stops after some time due to formation of insoluble calcium sulfates, which cause the surface of calcium, preventing further reaction. Learners, that's the end of the lesson. In the next lesson, we're going to look at the other chemical properties of acids and uses. Thank you.